Hi Aries, how are you? Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. Um, I have uh, pulled some cards out. Guess who's back? Blue Flame Integration. Hi. Um, yeah, if this reading does resonate, please hit the like button. Aries, you deserve a reading. Your birthday's coming up. Your solar return's coming up. I'm an Aries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you have multiple planets here, this reading's for you. If you'd like to take a check out at my Etsy store, I will be putting that on my community page. The link for that will be there so that you can check it out. Um, there's still oils and stuff and other spiritual baths I gotta upload, which I plan on doing this evening. Either way, Aries, I'd like to get started with your reading. Um, if this reading doesn't resonate, then uh i don't know what to tell you um i just uploaded i'm in the middle of uploading a channeled message for aries sun and moon uh pretty much talking about cutting off and releasing old energy this very well could come to you as a surprise however i think that you already have been figuring this out about people aries and you know, it's not the easiest thing, I get it, to release people, but it's what the universe wants for you. I think many of you have saw that certain people, everything got real dark, and it's bright in here, like I said, see if I can light, bright it up, Any brighter, I don't know. <laughs> okay, some of you saw Blinded by the light <laughs> Well, guess what, Aries? Look Yep, tower card <laughs> You're like, oh, I see what's happening There were some relationships, some soul ties Here in your past that I think you realized weren't really for you. You might have cut people off and or this could have been a breakup, breakdown. Very well could have been with a Scorpio and or Scorpionic energy. Pluto energy. Now, if you're a Divine Feminine or a Divine Masculine. Aries, look. In the right now position, you're feeling pretty good feeling in your power there very well could be a relationship possibly the whole twin flame dynamic that you've been um hanging on to stuck on to with the hanged man card here i really apologize for the light coming in and then getting dark i don't get it either way yeah here's the hanged man if you've been stuck on this um, twin flame dynamic, I'm just going to call for what it is. And you don't know what to do. It's my masculine. Very well could be a Pisces. But I think it's just a realization that you've been getting in Pisces season. Like it's becoming blatantly and obviously clear what you need to do either way let's continue shall we even though the lighting isn't really yeah either way yeah in your future position you have the six of wands this is the victory card also holding almost like a crystal ball your intuition is going to be on point. Moving forward. You know what you need to do at this point. Some things, Aries. For you to have victory. You need. To cut yourself loose. The Eight of Swords. You need to cut yourself loose. From any ties that bind you to people. Okay. 
very well, like, a, here's the King of Pentacles here as, as well. This very well could be from Aries season going into Taurus. You're looking for victory. You're looking to come out of a confused headspace in the near future. Now, your outcome, I got four cards. I'm going to pull clarifiers on this. Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving knight on the deck. This cycle, I'm telling you, started around, you know, on and off, probably your whole life. It's been very slow going. Very well could have an earth sign that's coming in, so you're aware. Um, the outcome. There very well could be people who you were reluctant to release. <laughs> However, the Virgo card, Capricorn, Aquarius, these are two major arcanas. You're going to realize you need to heal from toxic energy. And it was a slow process. And then here's the Queen of Pentacles. You have, now all of the court cards out are out here for earth signs going into earth element and then you have the star card which is your glow up whether it's in your um love life whether it's in your um career sector which i think many of you have been really looking as far as some of you might have been stuck in a toxic living arrangement toxic job toxic relationship and you're healing from this you just want you just need to hear the voice of reason the voice of truth here comes the gift that you deserve the truth and a brand new start possibly in your foundation and money sector here comes the Empress. Aries. Here's another card for Taurus. You very well could be very fertile during this time. Some of you might even be pregnant. So, some of you are ready to come out of your cocoon and begin to expand. However, you need to release the pain of the karmic contracts that people didn't want you to know needed to end because guess what they're still doing? In reverse, reverse. They're hiding in your energetic system. They're hiding in your energetic field. You very well could. They very well could be orbiting. They could be stalking you. Like the devil back there stalking. And you're just sitting back like, yeah, well, here I am. What can I do about it? Just going to chill and sit back and relax and wait. Well, there's no more waiting anymore. Ten of Cups in reverse. These situations, Seven of Swords people, you know what they are. These are um, manipulators. They lie, they cheat, they steal, especially energetically. And these people that you had to cut off very well could hurt a lot. You've went through massive amounts of abuse and or pain. And the cycle needs to come to an end. This needs to flip up into the upright so that brand new things can come in. The healing of this toxic energy can be complete and you can sit on your throne. Hardcore. Anybody who comes back, oh, dude, I've had so many karmic people try and come back into my life. And it's like, no, 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 even to the point of what I thought was masculine. And he very well could be. I'm not saying he's not. However, he's stuck. You need to release some people that are stuck in your energetic system. So that you can begin to create again with the universe. You have abundance coming. That's two ones in a row. 
All right, let's pull some clarifiers here, Aries. <clears throat> yeah. Time to leave those people out in the dust. Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups. This has been coming out even in my other readings. All right, why is the Three of Wands, Two of Cups is here in your past? I'm telling you. There's a lot of soul contracts that are coming to an end. Please refer to the Energetic Shredder, Aries. The channel message that I, I'm just now uploading. I'm not taking that, it fell on the floor. However, I will show it to you. It's the Two of Pentacles, not knowing what to do. Does this person stay or does it, do they stay or do they go? Bop, 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 bop. Well, do they deserve it? I gave you a list. It's time you make that list. All right, Three of Wands, the Tower, Sudden Revelation, here in your past, and Two of Cups, which I think you already know. Give me some clarifiers on that. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're like, they created confusion. Here's a ten of swords again. I'm putting this thing to rest. You're like, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to release. Show me. And you're like, and then the Knight of Pentacles is here, which is in your outcome. Virgo energy. How do I release these people? Energetic shredder, Aries. <laughs> if they've created confusion, a ton of pain, to the point where you're like, mm -mm -mm, done, gotta go. It's time that it's been long enough, man. Since 2008. Come on. All right. The Emperor, the Four of Wands, the Hanged Man. Yeah, you're definitely a divine person. If you've gone through this process, yeah. I think some of you maybe have been stuck on the dynamic. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Someone who can't receive love. Emotionally detached. Someone who does not trust. Always side-eyeing people. Slighting people. And you saw it all, Aries. You saw this person for who they were. However, you want to still wanted to see the best in them. You're like, can I trust you? Can I trust you? But they dump out every single thing that the universe has been bringing in their life. And guess what they do then? They orbit back around to you. And then they will dump that out again, too. You already know it. You've already observed. All right. Six of Wands, future coming in. You've, you already know this. This is nothing I'm telling you that's future energy. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. It's who you deserve. Someone who's stable, possibly Earth element. Sun, Moon, Rising. Six of Wands. Or it could be coming into... Taurus season. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yep. Release. This is how you have victory. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. Eight, eight. Very well could be Leo energy too. Another fixed sign. This is a card for Sag though. Could be a nodal thing. You're going to get messages. And it very well could put you in a funky headspace. You're like, mm-mm, not dealing with that. And you're sitting in your power, especially going into Taurus season. If you do what I'm saying, maybe that you should consider doing. All right, give me a, two more here. And there's, yeah, the full card. I told you, you have a new start coming, Aries. You very well could be telling whoever this was in your past, or multiple people, I'm on to bigger, better, new horizons. Zero point. Starting a whole new cycle. All right. Knight of Pentacles. Healing from that devil energy. Queen of Pentacles. What, why is the outcome here? So you had two cards that came out right for your major arcana. This is a brand new start. Yeah. Oh, brand new job. Something happened at your job. There was a con. You might have, um, you might have been a real weird, slow incoming... Um, slow moving contract coming in 
Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. That's two aces right in a row. The Ace of Pentacles here. The, dude, there's a gift coming in. If you can release this, I'm happy. Do it, Aries. Hanged man in reverse. You're going to get unstuck. And this person is also going to get energetically unstuck from you. It's the right thing to do. Oh, yep. Look at the bottom of the deck. You have somebody new coming in. Who's going to be truthful and honest. That's going to bring just as much to the table as what you did. And this is a gift from the universe. To get an unstuck and sitting in your power. Healed. Aries. Healed. Got a brand new soulmate coming in. But you got to release the old. Make new for the room. Make room for the new. Underneath that, chariot card. This is coming quick. And then underneath that, the star. Look at that. Somebody not going to like it. I get it. However, that's no longer your problem, Aries. It's time for you to move forward into your healing completely and totally. I love you, Aries. <laughs> You're my sign. It's good to see these cards come out the way they did. Getting unstuck, getting a new job, new offers. You deserve this after the pain that you've been through. Either way, I'm going to attach one here. If you, if you would like a private reading, you can email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. If you need clarity on your situations, if you'd like to see my energetic store and my spiritual store, I'm going to put it in um, on my community page. Please check that out. This reading resonates. Please hit the like, share, subscribe button. I love you. Um, if you want to subscribe, my channel has been hit with bots. So it would be nice to at least if you're com if you comment and it disappears, I didn't do it. Okay? I didn't. <laughs> this happens sometimes. Either way, I love you. You take care, Aries. We'll talk soon. Bye.